welcome Gemini to your chakra reading for July. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe in your chakras. Talking about being in the knowing with the crown chakra. This is located, of course, at the top of the crown of the head. This is where it says, I know what's going on. And you're saying, I know that there's a rebirth going on. I know there's a huge change. I can feel the change. And just knowing this change, it wants you to go with the flow and go with the knowing that you know. Um, don't fight that feeling um, or that change. And this is located at the ground earth star chakra, excuse me, um, which is anchoring to your root chakra. And why is this so important? Because this is where the stability and the change is going around you. This is where things are, you know, supporting you um, and holding you grounded to the situation. And it's going to give you a positive awakening within yourself um, to be able to really serve the point that what you're really looking for and really trying to achieve within your life. Whether it's challenging and uncomfortable and painful is not even really the point. The point is it has to happen, um, right? Because this is what you've been patiently waiting for is some kind of change to occur, whether it's, you know, um, painful or overly awe, you know what I mean, kind of moment. Or some, sometimes things are painfully done, but then sometimes they're shockingly done to the point to where it's like, thank God. So take that how it resonates, whether it's a painful one or it's something that you've been waiting for so long that it's um, maybe some for some of you it's a little bit of both. So, however it is, but it's simply loving with the crown, or excuse me, with the heart chakra opening up, giving you that comfort, giving you that, that needed comfort that you're going to get from your own soul during the transformation. So even when it's painful, when it starts actually happening and you really get into the knowing that this has to happen, then that compassion for your, for yourself and the change is really going to shine through. So make sure that you are keeping that heart chakra open um, for this change and just simply love the fact that being in the knowing is saying, but this is changing for the best for me, no, you know, no matter what the situation is, the higher heart activation is dropping shields, divine love and heart is healed. So this is going to give in this heart healing moment within your life. Um, I do believe for, for some of you, it is the moment of truth um, and it is a little painful. Um, why? Because we have to simply love and the breaking the shields down knowing that somebody could be definitely affecting the energy and actually hurting you in so many ways. Um, and definitely talking about emotional uh, ways, right, which then becomes mental. Um, see myself attracting, harmonizing intent. So this is intention, opening up that solar plexus for the intentions of what you need. This is the law and attraction card. Um, I see myself attracting only those in harmony with my current intent and getting clearer and clearer in every moment about what it is that I truly want. It matters not what others are choosing. It is only important to me what is pleasing me and I see myself and I certainly am. And once you start pleasing yourself, then you can actually start pleasing others and then really taking the intentions of what they really truly need to, um, right? Because it all starts within yourself to be able to, you know, kind of activate that energy to simply love and then you know, produce that energy towards others that you really care about and how you're protecting and how you're dealing with things within your life. So if we're talking about children, children can pick up this energy so well, right, that they see you're down and it's almost like, well, how can you protect me when I feel like I'm protecting you? Um, and so you kind of feel that way. But, um, and that's for somebody and not for everyone. But it's definitely truly doing things for yourself so that that way you can be in the best harmony and peace for yourself and enjoy your life. Um, there is a message of concern, right, that is coming through that is very concerning to the situation. The message is saying, you know, but there's many messages to this, right? There's the message of, I know that this is what I need to do, right? But there's also a message of concern coming through the situation, which is going to activate all of this situation to where this is where it's going to want to really activate the heart chakra and say, okay, fine. If this is the way it's going to be, then this is what's going to have to happen because you see the rebirth is the change anyways. You knew it was changing. You're in the knowing. You already know things are changing around you and which this change is not something that you can really, you know, hold on to. It's going to do it whether it likes it or not in a lot of ways. You could hold on, right? But what, what would be the intention, guys, right? Why? Why would you want to do so? 
when there is something so beautiful coming out of it, um, you wouldn't want to do so, right? So you want to go with the flow and pretty much be this bird over here. The bird is symbolizing the freedom and the choices that are, are made. And it's also probably a dove because it's talking about the peace and the harmony. So this way you know that you're getting back on track with the situation at hand. Really, truly having this butterfly effect within yourself. Whether it's through a job or however. Right now there's this kind of delay. A delay in the way that things are moving within the situation and not really getting to the passion. And that's why it's so important to really simply love and really put down the shields and say, you know what, I don't need shields. I don't need barriers because once I'm in the knowing, I understand what's going on. So I don't really need those. See, those are overprotectiveness so that I don't allow other things to happen to me. But in seriousness, we don't really 100% need those. See, because once we become strong and we understand situations at hand, why do you need so much protection? You don't need that much protection. The only protection you need is the protection that you already have, which is called just your normal bubble. But once we start shielding and bar barricading ourselves, that means that there's stress within the situation overcompensating for the shield that we already have within ourselves. So this will allow that to be released and bringing back the authority and control within the situation. And you may even have someone controlling the situation to where it could be a Sagittarius or this fire sign, um, you know, that it's, you feel like this is how it has to be. But now you don't have that because now you're going to bring in the extra courage, the extra strength and say, you know, I don't need that because you don't affect me that way. This doesn't affect me that way. So definitely taking that and releasing what no longer serves you, allowing it to drain, not allowing them to drain you. See, so this way you have the reflection of what really is and not allowing that concern to be so over concerning to where it does drain the energy and you're bubbling up becoming the emperor that you deserve to be. Wow. So there definitely is this power that you're going to receive from this situation um, at hand with within your chakras. And it's talking about the gold coming through, which is the overall power and knowing that who is in control of your life. It's not them, right? So this will allow you to think and meditate and take self-sacrifices if needs so to be able to progress further. So the whole chakra reading really is talking about the progression forward through the transformation, knowing that you're transforming into this, you know, this more authoritative person who is in more control and not allowing any kind of um, concerns to make you shield up when it comes to it definitely is somebody else. There's somebody else here. Definitely, I'm going to say probably a Sagittarius doesn't have to be, but definitely somebody here who feels like they're in control of the situation. And now you realize you can break free from this situation and have, you know, all kinds of great things and take these leaps of faith where you felt maybe you were uh, stuck before and could not move. And getting back to where you uh, live your life in harmony. How about that? Just live your life in harmony. I just want to live my life in harmony, in peace. How hard is it? Some people make it very hard. But it does feel like you do have advice and support around you from a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo who can actually be there to support you. Someone that you might be able to lean ahead, your head on their shoulder type of situation. But definitely having this page of coins coming through is saying that there is someone at service for you um, who really has great advice on how to um, get through this rebirth. So make sure that you are paying attention to that person because they are there to help you. Okay. And clarifying on with an angel message card. Oh, look at that. This is exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful exercise and activity that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Choose something that makes you happy. Choose something that gets you away from thinking and overthinking the situations. Something that you can focus on energy there so that way you can 
you know, wait for the outcome of a manifestation that you are truly looking for. Um, I do the same thing by playing video games. I know it's crazy, but that's what I do. Um, why? Because then if I sit over here and I'm always manifesting on this channel, or I'm always manifesting on another job, or I'm always just focused, focused, overly focused, what happens, guys? You tip the scales, right? There is a such thing. There's a fine line between obsession in, in areas and just allowing it to free flow. So I do allow free flow a lot. I put out my intention and then I let it go, right? Because there has been times in my life that I have overthought the situations and it gets you nowhere, right? So definitely exercising, doing anything else. You put out your intentions and then you allow it to flow because the universe has already heard it. You don't have to repeat it one million times. Um, but for some reason, because it gets stuck in our head. So doing other things allows that um, to go away so it doesn't become a stressful issue or you feel like no perfect timing is actually coming because the more you're thinking about it, the more it seems like it's never going to come through because it's a daily process. Um, there's no reason for a daily process, you know. So you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. And that's very interesting because we're talking also about this other person who is supporting you. So that is definitely for someone. So there's two different messages for you. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.